Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man. Welcome back to TRS. I would like to say right away that I apologize sincerely for the delay in the posting of this episode, and it was due to a variety of factors. Number one was that I mistook last week's video file for something newer than last week's video file. I don't know how I managed to do that, but no, I'm going to have to rethink my system or just be a little bit more careful with uh, what I'm posting because I almost posted up a duplicate of the video last week. Or, or rather, of the video that was posted last week. Just because I run things strangely. The, the second problem was actually a, a lighting problem and not in the game in real life. Couldn't get any light down here. Of course, that doesn't affect recording very much, but it was a, a simple annoyance. And now it's fixed in air quotes. Because now, instead of having no light, I have too much light. The light bulb is rather powerful. And it actually kind of feels like I'm outside. Which is a good thing, but I'm not sure how good it's going to be when I have to sit down and record the Admiral Ellis video later today, because that I'm, you know, physically on camera for, and everything has to actually look good in order for that to, uh, you know, be a, be a decent video. So, we're going to see how that turns out. I might have, to, might have to finagle with stuff. Thankfully, I've got a, I guess you could call it a backlight. I've got a backlight here, and I've got another overhead light that I can turn on, and did, because I didn't have enough, just ambient light. <laughs> I mean, more relevant to you guys is I use that same, I use the same desk and same lighting setup to record the weekly timetable, that's a problem, we need to fix that, to record the weekly timetable, and so I'm going to need to figure out at least Saturday is, is a kind of, or well, today, I guess it is right now, is a more or less a trial run of, of the new lights. And if they work, then that's good, and I'll be able to continue on to make the timetable tomorrow without any, any real trouble. I'm going to go ahead and fix this manually. Without any real trouble. However, if they don't do what I need them to do in terms of lighting, uh, I'm going to have to take the light apart and fix some bulbs or change some bulbs or disable that spotlight that's casting shadows in, in this room. It's, uh, honestly, it was quite, it's quite dramatic, the way that, uh, the way that the lighting is affected right now. If I could make this a little less jagged, it would do good as a kind of uh, where the rain washed away a bit. Like maybe there was a landslide or something here. Thankfully not down towards the tracks. I haven't given it much thought, thought to scenarios. I mean, of course, we don't have a turntable big enough to turn around the big boy, unfortunately. So I might not be using it so much. If I do, it'll probably be for off-map stuff. Yeah, I do have an idea of how I can use it. I just need to check the elevations of stuff and see if it would be a challenging run or a leisurely run. Because depending on which way I have the thing run... Well, you know what? No, maybe I could have... One session one way, and one session the other way, and one is the easy mode, and one is the hard mode. Because I know there's an elevation difference between the two places that I'm trying to go. And uh, one of them, one of those two places is just south of uh, Tamaros. Which is, uh, for those who remember, that is the portal. The exit to the map. So essentially, the the big boy scenario that I can think of right now would be would involve running a fully laden coal train from 
the the sorry the north section of the map, not the south section. The north section of the map to the south end of the map and out through the portal. Alternatively, you could work things slightly differently and, uh, and, uh, now the back, the inverse of that scenario would be running an empty coal train from the portal through Tamaros and northward through the, through the intermediary towns and out, uh, to the coal mine. Or maybe that could be one whole section, one whole session, rather. Or maybe, you know, it's something I just realized. Uh, to make the, to make the scenario a little more interesting, what you could do is you go, uh, you take your, your empty coal cars from the portal, you come out in Tamaros, you pick up more from the from the uh, from the uh, power plant there. Uh, you pick up some from the yard across the way, and then you take all of those cars, and it'll be a lot of cars by this point. You take all of those cars north to the coal mine. You fill up all of those cars, and then you take them back down south. Uh, and when when you get to Tamaros, you have all the all the unbuilding of the train that you had when you got there. You drop off maybe twenty in the uh oh <laughs> dogs. You drop off maybe twenty in the um, yard, bunch in the coal mine, and a bunch, uh, or rather, you take the rest of them down down south with you. That'd be like the heavy coal scenario. Now there's going to be a couple other scenarios with coal because there are a couple other places that provide coal. One of them is a very small mill not very small, not like a uh, squeak as small, although I want to use that same mill. That's in fact what I had originally envisioned using it for. But I do have a third coal mine, I think, that I can use for that. One that's, one that's slightly larger than that one. I'm not sure, though. I'm sure if I do, I might just be making things up here. Trying to figure out exactly what to do. Uh, <coughs> sorry. As I was saying. So you have your 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 heavy coal, which is that train that I just described with the big boy. Then you have your light coal, or your narrow gauge coal, rather it would be called, which is. Um, the coal mines only service things south of them. I'm not, you know, there's no particular reason why. It's just that's how it works. And that isn't a rule, of course. It's not saying you can't service things that are north of you or east or west of you. It's not like it's not allowed. But that coal mine only services directly to the south. Ostensibly because the rail to the east isn't heavy enough uh, for that service for the for the large trains that that coal mine warrants now i'm not sure about that because i might be changing things later or i might or that might be true and we can't run heavy trains over there and that's why things have to go down to port charles uh and get offloaded to ships there, that that actually makes a decent amount of sense. I hope I remember that when I go to build Port Charles in the surrounding area and think about the way the track would be laid in that situation. Uh, 
Uh, actually, in uh, Imperic Q, I believe. I, uh, no. MP Win? No, yeah, no. Imperic Q is the one that I kept. MP Win got changed to Anaconda. Uh, I don't remember where. I don't remember which one's which, though. I think it's Imperic Q is the northerly one. And has the airport. It's the only airport on the map. If that's the case, we needed to change around some stuff in order to make the airport there make sense. Maybe there's something with the uh, the tracks between Vale and Empericu that doesn't allow heavy trains. And they never got upgraded. I can make this work. Looks nice. Looks doesn't look like crap. That's my requisite right there. Looks like crap? No? Okay, it's good. Alright, I actually need my uh I'm actually done almost all the terraining over here. I'm pretty impressed. This is coming along rather oh I I put bumps here, by the way. Just saying. Oh, right, this area needs to be done as well. Forgot about this. Let's put some water in the lake here. Let's save first. Yes. Put some water in the lake here. Alright, great. What's the water level here? It's a little bit high for my purposes, but I'm going to lower it. And I may put some sort of dirt berm here. Because I know I have those around here somewhere. I, I've used them before. I used them in the uh, old Geiger Mountains map. But we don't want these two to be the same height, so let's lower that. Let's go find a dirt berm. I believe it be in splines. Anchor tents of pylon. No, that's not what I want. Alright, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, different uh whole states. Oh, oh, that's cool. That's actually kinda cool, yeah. Concrete bridge, concrete wall. No, I know that one and I will probably use it in the future, but not right now. Embankment. On. Let's pop this up to decent height. Welcome to the future, man, machine, the fusion. Oops. Great. Turn it around. Shoot it down. Uh, we need to fix that. There. Now we need the same old, same old river spline. Let's go get that again. That's around here. I believe it's just called River 2, so I could get it, but I'm too lazy. Oh, it's River Sample 2. Okay. But I know there are other rivers, so... What do you expect? Shouldn't there be a river sample one? There isn't. What is this madness? No, I mean, ain't this beautiful? Actually, semi-realistic if they didn't have all the same boulders. I think it'd be kind of boring to to raft this, considering. I'll look out for that boulder. I'll look out for the same boulder. 
By the way, down here there's going to be a Walmart junction or something like that, because this is where I made that famous statement, I hate Walmart. Yeah, good times. Talking about the San Juan extension. Hashtag save Juan. <laughs> Most of you may not know that joke, as a matter of fact, so that was kind of wasted, but still funny to me. If I may, I'll explain. So my, I have a friend who's a big uh, proponent of the hashtag Save the San Juan, but he wrote it by accident as just Save Juan. <coughs> there, there. Now there's going to be something like that around here too, not necessarily around here, but in existence. There's going to be a, a Save Juan. Medicinal club or something like that. Oh, just wrong button. Undo that. This. That's what I want. Just do what I want, whatever I want. want. Alright. Also, we've got to figure out what's going to be over here. And then we'll be pretty much done with the area. We can move on. Because, uh. Well, the rest of it's basically. It depends on what I'm doing with those areas, and I don't want to decide what I'm doing with those areas yet. Although, I've got to come back here and do all the texturing, so that's going to be fun. Alright, no. Okay, I have an idea. Now, since uh, since it's going to take me a while to do the texturing, and we may be here for a while doing that, uh, I'm probably going to put some time into it, but I want you guys to give me stuff to put in, first of all, suggestions. I always ask for that, but... Specifically this time, uh, pop culture references to add to the map. And why. And not just because it'd be funny. And I know it sounds like a lot of work, and I apologize for, for basically giving you homework. But I want to be entertained by you. <laughs> no, I just want you to basically convince me. But if you make a list, I won't object. I won't say no because you made a list. But uh, I'm less likely to pick something with a list than I am. Something with a reason. But so far we have a Walmart joke to put in. Maybe like a, a, a site of former Walmart headquarters destroyed by train impact. Or, I don't know. Something silly like that. Or maybe something not so silly like... What if I made the airport a Walmart? Just Walmart airport. Like, they got into car insurance, and now they got into air travel. So we've got the Walmart joke, the save Juan joke, uh... Oh, what was the other thing I said? It was something else I wanted to put in there. I don't remember what it was now. We already have the Skyfall. We already have Aperture. Maybe a Vsauce thing, just because Vsauce is cool. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? Using uh, using YouTubers stuff would would be probably pretty cool. Have a Z-Stonian mountain or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. It, it would have to actually be Z-Stonian. Just like properly massive and obnoxious in its own fantastic way. I don't know. I'm not saying Z-Sto is like that. I'm saying his creations are like that. Just for the record. Z-Sto, you're awesome. Z-Sto, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a, uh... uh... No, you know what? Screw it. I started it. Now I have to finish the story. I was at a, uh... A... A, a rehearsal for National Honor Society stuff. <laughs> and the dude finishes speaking. He, like He's describing what we're going to do. 
I mean, it's it's pretty... It's nothing fancy. We just walk in, and then we walk around the side and walk up one by one get our stuff. Uh, get our certificate or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, he... You know, finishes what he's saying, and he goes, Alright, well, any uh, questions, comments, and concerns, whatever? And I went, I love you! <laughs> Unfor I, unfortunately for the entertainment of everyone involved, I didn't yell it, but I went, I love you, and <laughs> all my friends next to me just cracked up. And they were trying to dare someone to do something stupid, I don't remember what. Oh, oh no, I'm, that's not, that's not shareable, I'm not going to say that. Um, something else, no, something I did do was I, I sang, I just built it out like the Soviet National Anthem when we were walking in. I mean, it was a rehearsal, of course, so nobody really was particularly, I wasn't particularly worried about it, about anyone getting upset with it. It was just like, da 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 And then the second time we walked in, I played Pomp and Circumstance, so I wasn't going to sing over that. One of the only reasons my, one of my friends recognized it is because it was, quote, the president's theme song. And, you know, in my head I'm thinking, that's, uh, that's not what it is. I mean, the president doesn't have a theme. I, but then the other part of me was, you know, that's actually fairly accurate. <laughs> that's not too far off. So we've got our second river in here. Got to texture all this stuff? Ugh. Ew. Oh, right. This back here part. And over here. This needs to be done. Now, let's get to... Hold on. Let me save again. And we're gonna need that. Oh wait. What is that? Just coal. What, if, what am I using on the mountains? This. I want that stuff. It's sort of like mud. Which I'm completely fine with. Get over that with that. Looks like this is kind of like a blanket, so I don't... I don't want the blankets. I just want uh, this dirty kind of area, because you're digging into the coal stuff. Or well, what used to be coal kind of stuff. Oh, I have a splinter in my, splinter in my finger. I moved a lot of... Uh, whatchamacallit today. Not fiberglass. Well, I was in fiberglass. He died. Uh, a lot of sheetrock. So I was helping a friend with his basement room, which is going to become a model layout, model railroad layout. And fortunately, and I will hopefully most likely be invited to it when it is complete. Hold on, now I want something rockier. All of this looks spun. Hmm. 
No, that's, that's not good. That's not good. What about that stuff? This looks like... I don't even know what the stuff is supposed to be. It's not good, though. It's, uh... No, I want, I'd rather have it darker, like this camera. I'm going to have to put trees on this. Well, this stuff is nice. No, not that stuff. That stuff. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean. Just right along there. Let's get through that. And okay, we need to figure out what to do over here. There's a lot of holes that we have to patch and are going to patch eventually. Whoa! Lost control a bit there. Stuff back here, this uh, second part of Grizzly Peak. I don't know, is that Grizzly Peak? What is this? No. Now this is Grizzly Peak. <laughs> I'm already losing track. Maybe we should just call this all Skyfall Ridge. And this is Grizzly Peak now. No, wait, no, this is part of that. Screw it, that's Grizzly Peak. That's that this whole area is Grizzly Peak, and this is Skyfall Ridge. Just for simplicity's sake. Making blanket statements. Now let's open up the radius a little bit. So I'm going to paint this entire area like this. It's kind of flat brown and I'm going to add detailing once I get around to it. So I'm going to cover this up. Alright, sessions. I was talking about sessions, wasn't I? So we've got our little coal. We've got our, our big coal. Oh yeah, no, our little coal. <coughs> Didn't talk enough about that. The little coal is going to be uh, taking a probably a Denver Rio Grande engine up the mountain or up the mountains, plural, uh, to Thames from from a place called Weiner Stowe, and that is an elevation gain of, I think, 300 or 400 feet just in that little section. And so there are going to be switchbacks, there are going to be loops. It's going to be a, uh, a very, very tight area. I'm going to fix this in just a second. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of grass in these, in these hills. There's gold in them there, hills. Hmm. 
We, we'll put a few trees over here. And grab the, the gravel. Turn down the scale on this. No, turn back up the scale. A little bit, at least half. So look at the better. It's like this was a... It was definitely cut. Probably built the embankment first. Although, now wasn't the two-foot narrow gauge supposed to be here first? I don't remember. I need to go and write an official lore. I mean, of course, I don't have time to write the lore for this place when I'm busy writing the zombie train. But, uh... Writing, stopping to write the lore is something that I should do at some point in the future. And, of course, you guys will have input on that. I wouldn't let it go unmentioned that you guys will most certainly be able to help when we plan the lore on uh, of the Temerous Vale and Anaconda Railway. I wish I knew how long I was going for. There's, there's honestly no way for me to tell unless I check the time at the beginning, and I don't remember what time it was at the beginning, although I can hazard a guess. The guess, however, would probably not be right. Because my perception of time has been altered by the fact that I did a bunch of stuff before I sat down to do this. Mostly because the other stuff had to get done. Like eating. I mean, that's kind of important, don't you think? I mean, eh, but, eh. That doesn't look like anything. Hold on, what does this look like? Kind of red brush. Let's see if I can find something craggier. Maybe this will look like. Doesn't look half bad, I guess. Fill that area with the rock. And I don't mean Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Reminds me of a uh, funny uh, family feud. is is always funny because the answers people give on short notice like that. Uh. One of the the question was name one thing guys want to see more than anything in the world and I mean it isn't that hard of a question to figure out what the number one answer would be but in case you haven't figured it out the number one answer was boobs no joke uh, the number two answer I think I don't remember what each one got but I know boobs got ninety three so. I know World Peace was at the bottom, it got one. And by figuring that something had to have two, you can say that uh, beer sandwiches got four people out of a hundred. <laughs> uh, so beer sandwiches was two, The Rock... Speaking, uh, you know, Dwayne Johnson was, uh, what well, was third and got two votes. And World Peace was one. Or rather, no, World Peace was four and got one, and that was it. There were only four. Out of a hundred guys, they answered four different possible answers. And that was it. No, no. I guess we're not quite so creative. I wonder what would happen if you asked girls. I do, I do kind of, kind of want to know with some of these family feud questions what would happen if they'd asked the other gender. I mean, I'm sure number one wouldn't be boobs. So, that, that's a start. I feel like world peace would be higher on the list. No, we'll get all down here first. I need to deal with this area here.
But hopefully this place is going to turn out just as nice as the other areas. Got to tone this down a little bit. And liven it up. Hey, that looks not bad. That looks pretty good. I'll be honest. Where the heck is my watch? There it is. Yeah, I think it's time to end the episode. I'm not sure how long I've been going for. But look at all this work we got done. Pretty quickly. So very quickly, we sat down and we banged out this work. So, I wish there was kind of a mix tool. That kind of looks like a dong, so let's add some more. See, this would be fine until you get to here, and you see this edge, and you realize, hey, look, you got lazy. And I would sit here and say, you're absolutely right. I did. We've got to, we've got to finish this as well. This very, we we turn it into a square mountain, basically. It's an enormous cut. This is basically an enormous cut. They they strip mine the area for for coal. When they realize they couldn't get that much, they set up this place here. Yeah, so we've got to figure out what we're doing with this. But now that we can get back and do the fine stuff... Um, then we can actually make use of a lot of this and texture a lot of this. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next week. Train Man, out!